Bible faith produces. Bible faith produces. Ladies and gentlemen, what you call koinonia today, by the grace of God, is a product of faith. There are no guarantees in life. Nobody gives you any guarantee anywhere. We live in a world that is obsessed with guarantees. Unfortunately, it does not exist. Calling your uncle your guarantee is a risk. In fact, calling yourself your guarantee is a risk. Calling the harbourlist in your village a guarantee is a risk. Because when men sleep, only God wakes men. There is something that is common to all men. The moment they sleep, the harbourlist must, must receive grace to wake up to continue what he's doing. I lay me down and I slept. The psalmist said, I waked for the Lord. Waking people is exclusive, is exclusively the, the, the prerogative and the office of God. No devil anywhere, I can tell you that. So when people act as if they have your destiny in their hand, tell them, make sure you don't sleep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By tomorrow, if you are still there, call me another name. Hey, be careful. Be careful because the sun is going down. Be careful. Mm. Very arrogant world that forgets that there is a God that rules over the affairs of men. Have you forgotten Nebuchadnezzar? A man who believed that he had everything, the entire globe in his hand, and he could manipulate the destinies of men. And he said, make the fiery furnace seven times hotter. And they threw those young boys there on account of their trust and their belief in Jesus. They said, we are not taught to dishonor authority, but as touching this one, we are not careful to tell you, our God will deliver us. But even if he does not deliver us, we count him faithful. And they saw the fourth man in the fire. Hallelujah. Now, I don't know if they themselves saw the fourth man. Because the Bible does not seem to record that they themselves saw the fourth man. We know that the man who saw the fourth man was the king himself and the other people. All we know is that they believed that the fire had no power over them. The faith was on their own part because they were not, they didn't have to see the fourth man to enter the fire. And most likely while they were in the fire, they probably did not see the fire. You see, when you are walking by faith, usually it is those who are the onlookers who will be seeing the marvelous things that God is doing. You just know you are obeying God. You are in that fire and you are walking that fire out. You are in that den of lions and yet it has no power waiting who will not enter the fire when you see the fourth man already waiting it is easy to give when you have an allot of 10 million in your account then you smuggle out 1000 and say god you see what i gave you is that really faith that is charity are we together it's a true faith abel offered how about abraham I will make you a father of many nations. No evidence, no Isaac. And the Bible tells us as in the order of men and women, he had become very old. And Sarah, even, even when she had gone past as in the manner of women, the Bible says, and yet they counted God faithful. You find that in Romans chapter 4, that he wavered not, I like Abraham, he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith. In fact, back down, go to 18. 18, it says, who against hope? Did you see that? The foundation of faith is that there is hopelessness already. Hopelessness against hope, believed in hope. That he might become the father. Imagine if you saw Abraham, 90 years. Abraham, how are you? And he says, I'm still holding on to God's word. And you say, Abraham, you are still at this madness called Christianity. I know he spoke to me. It's not a lie. And he himself will go to God and say, God, why are you doing this to me? Seeing that I go childless. Okay, here is Eliezer in my house. You somebody in my house who respects me to have children for me. And God says, no, it will come from you. I will hold on through the storm and I will hold on 
unto your word my life will soon reveal you're the lifter of men the lifter of men yes i will hold on through the storm i will hold 